Hi there and welcome back to part 3 of my tutorial on making a multiplayer game with pun in Unity. So we've managed to get so far with our project right now and um, we're able to synchronize our simple first person controller across the network. Um, the next thing we want to probably do is, uh, is get some shooting. So um, we're going to do a gun. Um, I have a already managed to put a package together for you so um, you'll be able to download that from the um, from the description but if you just go and import the package right now so if you download and import this package um, it's custom package I'll just go to my desktop and I called it um, simple pistol so it's simple pistol is what you're looking for it's uh, ridiculously simple when it's in I'll show you it and then we'll um, attach this to our first person controller uh, network player. So the simple pistol is literally just um, one uh, game object. The, it's an empty game object with just a transform that we can attach to our player and a, a really really simple particle system. Uh, you can look through the particle system if you wish but um, it is literally just a, a short duration particle system with a lot of speed. Um, I've managed to make the size all the way down to zero so we really only need to see the trail. The emission is just a, sing a single count, so a single one, uh, one particle gets um, given out. The shape is a cone with a very very tight angle. If you click play you'll see you just, um, it literally just uh, fires one little particle um, in, a, in a straight direction. And um, all I've done for the renderer is just get rid of the default the material for the main one and under the trail I've just put the default line material and the trail is um, just a few settings to make it sure it's in world space and that it's a very short lifetime um, so you'll see it's a nice really really simple I've tried to keep it as I mentioned before as simple as I possibly can to try and make sure that this will work so um, we can take this out of the scene right now we're going to add this to our player so you'll need to find the player prefab in the resources. So um, we have our little player prefab right now. We're gonna just simply take this um, pistol, the simple pistol, and we're gonna drag that onto the player. So uh, you'll see that the currently um, this pistol, um, I actually can't see it. So we're just trying to move it up into some sort of position. And if you want to, you can tick on this uh, little box thing and uh, you can give it a little um, tag so you're able to see it a little bit better. So this uh, this pistol, um, we're just going to move it um, into some sort of position in front of the player. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, we're going to be able to see it. I want it off to one side so I can see what's going on. So uh, that's, that's part of um, getting this pistol into the right place. The next thing is that we need some sort of script to trigger this. So you're going to make us make yourself um, a gun script. Now I'm going to make this script in here. So in the simple pistol folder, you can put it wherever you want. But I'm just going to have a simple script. I'm going to call this gun, and um, we'll get started in the next part um, writing this script. All right. So the the script. Um, is going to go onto the player, so um, we haven't put it on yet. So I'm just going to drag that straight onto the player right now. So we should be able to see it here, and then we'll double click this and open it up in Visual Studio. So the idea behind this is that we want to play the particle system um, when we click the button. Um, there's a few key things that we have to do. Let's make this text a little bit bigger um, in order for that to happen. So um, this will happen locally and, and I'm going to maybe show you a little diagram soon on, on how this is going to work but we'll get started on some of this script so first up we really need um, we need to know where we're going to shoot from so I'm going to make these public, I'll make a, um, a public transform and we'll call this um, gun transform I think uh, we're also going to get a public um, particle system because we want to be able to get that particle system so we can tell it we want to play and I'm just going to call it PS for now because I'm lazy and the um, if we save this and go back to assign those right now so if we jump into to Unity you'll see that the player um, needs to know the uh, 
the gun script sorry he needs to know the gun transform so where I put the pistol is where I want so the pistol is going to go in gun transform and then the particle system is the the child underneath this and we're just going to drop that on too um, and then we'll go back to that script so we've got those two things kind of working so the next step we really need to do is um, just during the update we need to um, more or less just check to see whether we're pressing the button or not um, again we only want to do this if we are the the local player so um, we'll start with an if photon view like we've done before oh, and why it's not working is we need to make sure that we are a network script so we'll use uh, using photon.pun and we'll make sure that the mono behavior is mono behavior pun callbacks and now the photon view will work so um, if photon view dot is mine so if we are the local player then we want to basically say that we can shoot so I'm just going to check for the mouse being down so this is only going to happen on the local player so if um, input dot get mouse button down zero which is the left mouse uh, we want to shoot uh, we want to shoot so the um, issue would come here with uh, we need we would we could shoot but we have an issue with it being um, only being local and how do we get it to shoot on um, both of them so I drew a little bit of um, a little bit of a, a picture for us to take a little look at. So we have the photon server that we're already connected to, and we're we're assuming that we're in we're in a room together. So we've got Tim and we've got Bob. Um, this is this is all running on Tim's PC um, over here. Uh, if Tim makes changes, Tim only has control over him himself. Um, so while Tim's running on his PC, his local player is is him is Tim. If if Tim shoots and he fires a bullet, um. There's no way of uh, you need to work out the way of how how Tim is also going to fire a bullet um, on this on Bob's screen because Bob only really has control over Bob's PC so Bob can fire a bullet too but how does Tim see it the way it works is there is there is some synchronization um, between the server um, the photon server that relays this information and each of the players so um, this one has an ID this one has a photon uh, photon view. Um, it has an ID and what we can do is we can actually use that ID um, when we run what's called an RPC so we can have a, a remote procedure call that um, when we call it from the photon view so we're basically calling it the, the photon view the photon server we're calling it on every single thing ID that has here and the way you, you do it as I mentioned is this RPC so um, we'll just minimize this and uh, we'll get on with writing it so the remote procedure call um, is the way to go so rather than just uh, simply shoot what we're going to do is we're going to do a network shoot so the way you do an RPC a remote procedure call is you um, uh, give this the uh, decorator pun RPC and um, the pun RPC uh, means it gets called gets called on all um, instances uh, of of the of the the photon view ID, so I'm just going to say view ID. So it'll happen on all the machines that are connected for this particular um, photon view, and you you've only got control over your photon view, so that's what you need to do. So um, I'm going to make this a void, and I'm going to call it RPC underscore shoot. Um, if you we could pass it some information we're just gonna leave it as it is and just uh, keep it simple as I mentioned so um, RPC shoot basically we want to uh, shoot so all we're gonna do is we know that we've we know that we've pressed the button down so we don't need to check that so we're just gonna um, get the particle system so PS and we're gonna get it to play so obviously there's uh, gonna be more to this the shooting itself we need to check that um, the shooting uh, the raycast to see if we've actually hit anything but for now I just want to show you um, this in action so that we know that it's going to work so basically we're going to shoot um, on the network so the RPC um, RPC shoot we need to obviously <laughs> uh, we need to run this when we do press the mouse button 
So um, the way you do it is the uh, we need to get the photon view, and then we call this RPC um, function. This RPC function takes the name of it as a string, the name of the function you want to run, the RPC function that you want to run. So mine's is called RPC shoot, um, and then we need to pass in the RPC target, and I just uh, just going to target all, so that it sends it to to everyone. And there is more stuff we can pass, but uh, this in theory should do it. So um, yeah, let's just uh, give it a test and see if it works. So I've uh, managed to build a couple of instances, um, and uh, I'm just going to just test. So you can see we can shoot these uh, these sort of like weird particle systems, and they're not the best, but they look okay. But because we did it as a as an RPC, um, you can see that on both the connected client and the local, um, we actually get them shooting. So I'm shooting on the right one here, and you can see that you're seeing it on the connected client, um, which is kind of good uh, a good idea it's quite a big deal and um, the next step would be some damage that we want to do to this player so um, we want to probably start this with the, the ray cast and then create some health so we're just gonna jump to the next part to do that so um, we're just gonna do a quick um, check with a ray cast um, so if you are familiar with raycasts the way it works is it's just a, an instantaneous check so I'm gonna make a, a new um, a new ray uh, we'll call it ray and we'll um, instantiate the new ray from the um, gun transform so the gun transform so gun transform dot position and in the direction of the gun transform so gun transform dot forward that will make a new ray um, and then we're going to use this if statement so the if um, when you do the raycasts if physics dot raycast uh, this will return true if the raycast hits something so I'm going to pass into it the ray I'm also going to um, get need somewhere to store some of the raycast hit information so um, raycast hit um, out recast hit and we'll call it hit and we'll just do a random arbitrary value of 100 uh, so the ray will be 100 units long from the position that it starts at um, uh, if we get this far if we're inside here that means we hit something so we can basically check um, if the enemy um, who we hit and if they have a health so um, I'm just going to write the comment just now um, and we, then we can uh, write the health function as well probably in the next part because uh, this is already getting quite long but you've you've done a good amount so um, check enemy uh, um, check hit um, if, the chip, if the hit has a health uh, script then we can we can take some value off of health so uh, yeah hope you're enjoying the series I'm gonna quit this video right now and we'll do the health script in the next one